After a long waiting period, Oracle finally released Oracle Forms 12c. In this video, I like to introduce my top features of this new version. My first point on why it makes sense to upgrade to 12c is not a new feature, but it is a very strong reason that Oracle ends the Premier support for Oracle Forms 11 GR2 at the end of 2016. For Oracle's best support, it is important to be on that version that is under Premier support. But now let's go to the real new features of Oracle Forms 12c that can make your life easier. The new deployment options are my number one. You are not limited to an applet embedded in HTML anymore, but now have also the option to run with Java Web Start or as a standalone application on your desktop. This is important because new browsers will de-support the Java plugin in the future. Oracle Forms now also provides new authentication options. Like in 11G, you can use Oracle Access Manager with Oracle Internet Directory. New is now that you can use OAM with Oracle Platform Security Services. This enables you to use any LDAP server that is supported by OAM. That means you now can directly authenticate your users against your Microsoft Active Directory. Oracle integrated BI Publisher into Forms 12c. This can now be a very good alternative to Oracle Reports, but it also can be used in conjunction with Oracle Reports. The communication to BI Publisher is integrated into Oracle Forms and works via web services. The coding is very similar to the integration with Oracle Reports. In Oracle Forms 11g and earlier, you were limited to a set of predefined color schemes. With 12c, Oracle now created an option that you can define your own customized color scheme. With this new feature, you don't need to set the background color you like for every form, but can specify it in a configuration file for global usage. For all administrators and developers that had to fight with signing Jacob Jar, even the application never using OLE functionality, Oracle now provides a WebUtil library without OLE support. That makes the deployment of these kind of applications easier. Other features that can be helpful for maintaining and developing your Oracle Forms applications are New system events like idle time, single sign off or notifications, the implementation of a record manager and JVM pooling for better performance control. To sum it up, it was worth waiting for the time for the new release of Oracle Forms 12c. I'm looking forward to see the new features in the next releases. If you'd like to have more information, please contact us at myinfo at or visit our website.